Welcome back. I'm the Intense MD, a double board certified intensivist, here to give you an inside look into the intensive care unit. I know I've been talking about doing an organ failure series for a long time, and I finally got around to recording it. Today's video, we're just going to talk about organ failure in general to set the stage for the upcoming videos where I will talk about specific organ systems and what happens when they fail. This video is meant to be a primer so I can explain the basics of organ failure so some things I discuss in latter videos make more sense. Organ failure is a condition when one or more organs in the body stop doing their regular function. When this happens, it can lead to life-threatening conditions. There are many different types of organ failure, since there are several different types of organs in the body. You can have heart failure, respiratory failure, liver failure, kidney failure, or you can have multi-organ failure when two or more organs have failed. This is a condition that we see in the ICU all the time because this is most likely the reason why somebody is in the intensive care unit because one or more of their organs is failing and we need to support them to get their body through the illness that is causing their organs to fail. There are many different things that can cause organ failure. It can be a chronic disease that is having a flare up. It could be an injury. It can be an infectious process or an autoimmune condition. Treatment for organ failure is typically what we call supportive care. Supportive care is when we support the body while it does the work to heal. So we may offer a certain type of life support depending on the organ that is failing, giving the patient some IV fluids, some nutrition, and of course, some time while their body heals. If it's due to an infection, antibiotics may be in order as well. So the type of treatment will depend on why the organ is failing, what is causing the organ failure, and which organ is failing because we have different things to offer based on whether it's the heart, lungs, liver, or kidneys. And as I said, People with organ failure need aggressive treatment and typically are in the intensive care unit. That being said, there are different categories of organ failure depending on how long the organ has been failing. There is acute and chronic organ failure. You can also have acute on chronic. Acute organ failure is when somebody has sudden severe organ dysfunction. This usually happens over several hours to days. This is some kind of injury or illness, infection, that causes a sudden rapid decline in the function of that organ. Many times this is reversible with immediate medical attention and good supportive care. Chronic organ failure is when somebody has a steady decline in their organ function over a long period of time, months to years. So some examples of this are people with chronic heart failure, or chronic kidney disease. So these are conditions where somebody's organ slowly deteriorates over time and they are being managed in the outpatient setting by a specialist for that particular organ. So if it's the heart, the cardiologist will be managing it. If it's the kidneys, a nephrologist will be managing it. They are monitored outside the hospital setting and the goal is to reverse what can be reversed of the damage and prevent further damage from occurring. People with chronic organ failure are of course at risk of going into acute organ failure. So this is when we call it acute on chronic, or many people will say they are having a flare up. This is when a patient's function rapidly, suddenly decreases even worse than their typical baseline function. So in healthcare terms, again, we will call this acute on chronic or acute decompensated. You can also have acute on chronic respiratory failure. This might be somebody who has COPD, they're on home oxygen, but suddenly they need a lot more oxygen than their baseline. So treatment for these conditions, people who have chronic organ failure, again, is focused on avoiding worsening deterioration of the function of that organ, 
They may even be considered for an organ transplant if the dysfunction is severe enough. I'm going to go into the specifics of each organ system and what acute chronic, acute on chronic, and consideration for transplant work in each system. So this is most likely going to be a multi-video series. I don't know how many it's going to be. This will be something I'm going to be posting about on this channel for the next few months. So if you want to learn more about organ failure and follow along with me, don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if you want to hear more about organ failure and let me know which organ system you want to hear about first in the comments below. It's either heart, lung, kidney, or liver. So let me know which organ failure you want to hear about the most. And if you count it how many times I said organ failure in this video, let me know below because I feel like I said it every other word. That being said, I'll see you next week for the next video.